Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Will, and we are back with some more Nino Kuni tonight. And I've done some offline grinding, and everyone is up to around 25-ish, between 20 and 25. Uh, last time we got stuck on a Magic Genie boss fight, so we're gonna see how that goes. But first, I'm gonna try to do some uh, bounties, if we can raise our level that way. Alright, let's uh, actually hold on. Jack, where these bounties are? I think one's at the volcano? But yeah, we got all of these to do. Okay, okay. Yeah, we'll go do that one first. I don't believe any of the other ones are actually in this area. So I don't know if they're further forward or back or where. But we will see. We will see. Hmm. Check. Double check, triple check. I didn't miss any on some small part of the map. Yeah, all of these guys basically run away from us. These were such high level now. I'm really call level 25 high level, but whatever. For the area. And I did capture a few more people. I think only one off stream. But I have changed up the team slightly. I added in one more new guy, new guy to... Uh, What's her face's team? I can't remember her name. I'm drawing a blank. Run away, run in fear. I know this is gonna be annoying because like I explore everywhere and there's those green chests we can't open up yet. And I I have a terrible memory remembering exactly where all the green chests are that we come across. And I know we're gonna have to refine them as soon as we get the third party member. Just like shit. We're gonna be re exploring some places. Although, I probably just uh, look up the guide for the green treasure chests just so I can find all of them real quick. At least for the early half where we've already been. Once we enter in here, we'll probably see where the boss is that we're trying to find. Or not boss, but bounty. Oh. Sweet. Alright, sweet. He's like right there. Hey, what's up? Let's uh... And, and see what this guy is. I believe the reward is a... Fire dagger, I think. Actually, hold on, let's check. Was it a fire dagger? Got. Oh no, sorry, it was a fire patch. Okay, wow, that's very creepy. I always forget we have to talk to him to engage the fight. It's like a giant... I don't... I don't even know what the hell this is. This guy is just creepy. Giant water. Nice. That seemed to be pretty effective. Yeah, unfortunately that little guy she has out now... I was hoping he'd become more effective later on, but so far he has been pretty useless. No, 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 I meant to heal her. Ah, fudge. Oh, fudge. Oh, right in time. I'm actually wondering... We did um, it! 
Nah, probably not. I was saying maybe one of the bounties, if it's possible to capture the enemies we fight for bounties, but I doubt it. Because they always seem to be slightly higher level than anything out in the world. I could have made sure there's nothing else for any of the other bounties. Alright, got it. This one. Okay, it seems like everything else we're gonna need a boat. Soon. The question is, is it just gonna be like a ferry service or are we actually gonna have a boat to control? And that was actually super quick. I was wondering whether or not that would take some time to take care of or not. Just because some of these hunts are pretty difficult so far. Well, one was. And I was wondering if we're gonna be hitting the point where they actually started to become difficult. Yeah, right now it seems like the only real hard boss that we come up against was the genie. Which we still need to beat today. Hopefully. And I don't know how useful, like, Poison and sleep and that kind of stuff is on boss characters for the main story. They know in some games like Final Fantasy sometimes it's like they don't like all those kind of status effects don't really work on any of the bosses, so I don't know if this game works like that. Yeah, I can. We're just going to pop back to the desert city to collect the bounty, and then we're going to head off over to the seafront area and see if we can take on that gene. I was hoping to do the other hunts to maybe try to boost our level, but it seems like all of them are off in other areas, so hopefully we are good. And I am going to try to use more magic on them this time at more long range, so hopefully we won't get hit. Oh, I need to remember one of my guys who doesn't have any defense or evade. Oh, not to play as that guy. Um, over here. And I think we might be able to get one more reward. I'm short. The game's pretty fun so far. Like, I haven't been able to get super deep in. Since we're still pretty early on. We still need the third guy. And I honestly don't even know if there's any more people after the third guy joins the team or not. Yeah, sometimes RPGs are weird, like uh, Final Fantasy X was super weird with how people joined your party. It was just like the longest time you just had a set group of people and then so close to the end, uh, Riku joins the party. And it's just like, I never use her. Because <laughs> I think she joins like in the final fourth maybe final fourth or final fifth of like the game and it's just like why so late i know a third one will be added because of just like the cover art shows three people so i'm assuming the third guy plus the uh cutscene thing that happens on the start menu. Like, those things ruin the game so many times. Or they just throw in, like, spoilers and shit into them, and it's just like, dude. 
It's like when I have the game set up and I'm like about to stream, like it will start playing. So it's like I've already seen him in those scenes. So it's just like I don't know why they put those stupid little uh, I don't even know what you call them, like a promotional trailer of some sort at the beginning before you hit start. I don't even know why am I fighting like this. <laughs> Uh, oh god damn. Yeah, we're dead. I was being stupid. No, cancel. Oh my god, he cannot evade. Yeah, we're screwed. I was not paying attention as much as I should have. Oh. Actually, this guy I think has a stronger heal. Yeah, okay. So let's just pop this guy out. He's pretty good. I haven't really fed them too much. God damn, this move. It's weird. I was like uh, grinding for like maybe an hour earlier today, and I fought a whole bunch of those guys, and not one of them did that move to me. It's just so weird seeing someone spam that move so many times. They just fought them so much without them ever using it. Yeah, like I'm also playing a uh, near automata over the weekends, and oh my god, that thing, like. That is insanely spoilery. Like, I felt so bad after watching it because, like, I finished playing the game and I'm like, wow, they threw in a lot of late game stuff into that cutscene. Or, like, the start menu. It's so dumb and ridiculous. Let's just heal up. This does not bode well. Our other character, she's always so weak and so squishy i've been trying to put armor and stuff on her to like boost her but like he just dies so easily he is the donald duck of this game hope this goes well um let me check my sure to check my items when we're in other town Okay, we got curry, we got a bunch of buns. We got one phoenix feather. Fish sandwiches, regular sandwiches. Oh yeah, I forgot we have this. What was this one? This guy was just having on so we could like level him up, but for right now, I guess we'll put that guy on. He's like nowhere near the rest of them, but still. Better than a level 9. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna try not to use the Phoenix Feather if we can help it. Yeah, I grinded to get... Crap, what was this? Oh, it was um... What was the password? It was something super obvious. Was it, it alchemy? No, no, no. It was eight. Open says me. God damn it. Yeah, it was something super obvious. <laughs> They wonder the dashes. Huh. 
Now I'm playing on uh, PS4 right now. They were doing a sale like a few weeks ago where they had Nino Kuni one and two for like eleven dollars each. So I picked up both of them. You are very small, master. But it matters not. Your right to command me will be judged in battle. Huh? Well, where is it? Ah! Aha! Now to arms! I really hope this character doesn't stick around because just fighting him last time was kind of obnoxious. It's like he was trying to be Discount Genie from Aladdin. And it's just like, bruh. Okay. Oh, alright, that only did like 15. Oh, no, I should have defended. Got a little bit of range. Ah! Better do heal. Stay alive, stay alive, stay alive. Try to keep her alive a little bit more since she seems to be really pulling him, which allows me to just fire off. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Heal, heal, heal. Oh my god, you just like keep running in for damage, bro. God damn. All right, let's try... I haven't really tried his spells on him. Please pull out the dress and not the sword. Yes! And then the Paris? Paris Ah, oh, flaming sword. God, why does he move so fast? <laughs> Oh, crap. Wrong spell. <laughs> Try. I really need to figure out how to do, like, a revive spell. That would be way more helpful. Whoa, we got a buttload of orders. Yes. No. Okay, this is definitely way easier than last time. Umbrella. Is it in order? It felt like last time we fought him, he did the same thing. Fire sword and then umbrella. Trying to do physical, like, melee combat is, like, pretty difficult with this boy. Fall back. Oh my god, his evasion window is so sh small. I keep doing it. I keep hitting the wrong side when I try to do defense. I keep moving over to the uh, right instead of left. Right, he's almost done, so we should be hopefully good. Oh wait, no! Health! Oh my god, I did not realize how low we are. Alright, that's a bit better. Thank god, Water Bomb seems to be a pretty decent spell for something that only costs, like, 4 MP. Oh, 
Oh crap, we're out. All right, let's try. We got coffee. We have this stuff, all right. Okay, this is new. This was a mistake, wasn't it? Yep, okay, that was a mistake. Oof, all right. How are we? We're all healed up. I put it in every single time. Okay. Oh, okay. Do they? Do we have our coffee back? Never really paid attention to before because we haven't died too many times. Whether or not our items are gone, or if we get them given back. Yeah, this guy is our bread and butter for this one. Yeah. Idiot. All right. That's what I meant. Fire sword. Do we need to be? Come on, come on, come on. Oh, thank God. Got it in time. Wait, it was gonna kill him. Yeah, I need to change up the order of her her familiars. Because the one on first doesn't do much. Yeah, they're I have not found a good setup for her. She's just so useless. She doesn't heal herself. She's just like constantly running in, getting herself killed. There's got to be a better setting for her. Thank God, yes, yes, yes. Now, let's see how well this goes. Most of the time when I get those golden balls, it's like right at the end. 
I don't know if that's gonna one shot. No, it's not. All right. Shoot. And I'm gonna. I, I learned my lesson last time. Block. Oh, whoa, that blocked a lot. I thought it would do like a bit. Nowhere near as much as it did. Holy hell. I thought maybe we'd be taking 50. Although he can cover a lot of distance. Let's do Sandwich. Fire Sword. I hate that he always throws them right at the enemy. Oh my god, why? <laughs> That was a bit of a mess there for a little bit. Dang it, evasion happened goes by so quickly. Oh god, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ha! Ah, all oh, right in time. Fish sandwich, fish sandwich! No! Damn it! Oh, buddy. <laughs> this fight. I do not get this fight. It is so much more harder than any of the previous ones. And there was nothing else. Yeah, there was nothing else here other than the inn. And then the shop. Or the uh, other thingies. God darn it, man. And I don't really have any other familiars leveled up too far. city. Oh, and I keep saying it and I keep forgetting to do it. I need to swap her familiar off. You know what? I'll just do it for her. There. Be useful. And I haven't figured out how to evolve more creatures. Ever since that first wave of familiars that we leveled up to their next form, I haven't been able to get any of them 
to uh, get that little marker that we can evolve them. Even the ones that we've just caught and I've leveled up to like level 15, which is where we got them the first time around, are still not popping up for me. Crap. Heal, heal, heal. Here we go. Oh my god. Heal yourself, you bumbling boob. remember what his third move is that we got. Drippy, I swear to god, I will punch you off this platform. Right, I don't remember what this move does. MP? I wasted it. Okay. Okay, we do have coffee. I didn't check last time. Oh, the fire sword. Oh, snap! Okay, we're insanely lucky here. We got two parasails. Parasails. Okay. Let me try water bomb. I think I could do that in time. Block to him. Yeah, I gotta make sure that he's all set. I keep on thinking he's going to do some other attack. Oh my god, he just keeps repeating this move. Thank god, I was afraid he was gonna try to dive bomb into the pot again. Good lord. Alright, what do we got? Alright, yeah, flaming sword. I figured. Oh my god, we got so many. Oh! Golden ball! Golden ball! Oh! Two golden balls! I didn't know we could get two of those to drop. And I think I realized what I need to do for this fight. Obviously blocking and evading allows them to drop the balls. I'm thinking maybe if I did that more, maybe he drops gold balls more frequently than I'm thinking. Maybe that's the trick to do it. Just defending, and he'll just drop a bunch of gold balls throughout the fight. I haven't really done too much defensive stuff.
in this game because I haven't really had to. We, we got a magic genie, as well as a talking brick that pops up occasionally, which I always forget that we have. Oh, is he going to give us a spell, maybe? Or not, he's probably the gift, the pot. Yeah. Alright, let's see here. How does this system? Got plenty of bread, so we're probably gonna be mixing stuff with that. Thank you, Magic Man. I right, follow the formula. wondering if there's gonna be a mini game of some sort but yeah what was it I think it was it was Dragon Quest 8 I think on the PS2 I think that had a mini game when it had came to the alchemy part I think it's been so long <laughs> yay all right let's 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 check it out we have one formula. Let's mix match. Got two of these. One of these. I don't know really how else. Let's really find out what we need. Oh, hey, what? I did not know we could use these. Let's see what this does. Nothing. Alright, that sucked. I'm assuming... Probably not gonna work. I'm assuming I'll... Probably, like, find different recipes throughout. Hopefully we have some of this. Do we... Oh, we don't use them up. Okay. I was afraid that we have to use up the materials, even if it's a failure. Alright. Let's try... This. This? Might work. <laughs> You suck. Alright, we also have this. Equip to someone so we can't. Ah! Alright. Alright, we'll come back to this. I'll figure you out someday. Yeah, this dude. I keep forgetting this is the thing. <laughs> we have a talking stone tablet, which seems to be kind of useless. 
Oh, hey! New side quest. Ooh, 30 gold. We're rich. I am a wizard. Yeah! Is that gonna be a? It's not gonna be a recipe. Okay. And then exactly what we needed for it. Got the ember. God dang you. Alright, what did we have? We had better glass. Seems to be the only side quest. I come back around. The next point's over near the boats. I'm hoping we can get on a boat pretty soon. How did they come to the conclusion that his catchphrase should be jeepers? Go stimulate the local economy by buying things. Gonna have a wardrobe mechanic. Final Fantasy 13. Lightning return. Well, now I'm a little disappointed that I didn't have a different outfit for Alma Moon.
By law, I must not wear a shirt. Check me out, dolly boy. I look the business in this little number. He huh? looks the business. Oh, marvelous. <laughs> What do you think? Marco. Hmm? I don't know why I find it so funny, but it's like, yeah, the governor, he's the shirtless guy down by the docks. Our local government's kind of a mess. Honestly, it's not a law, but he just keeps on trying to enforce it. We just go along with him. Ooh. These are some long swim trunks. <laughs> oh, wow. You look like a colorful character. He's got an eye patch. He's cool. All right. He's got an eye patch and leopard print. Oh, this guy knows the business. What gave him away? Was it the lamp piercing through his nose? I really want to see the other fairies, just to know if like, they all actually look like him. Or if he's just some sort of freak! Honestly, did not see that coming. I assumed it was just like straight ahead. Okay, um, let me check the. Oh, I've already looked at this. It doesn't tell you. I hate that it doesn't actually tell you the ingredients, but you have to talk to the little girl to get them. It's just like, why did you do it like that? <laughs> it's part of the mission, just... Eh. Let me try to Google it so I can just have it on the side, so... He's gonna have a terrible memory. Cutter. I need a flint dagger. Wow, 
wow, the Wikipedia for this game is not that great. <laughs> The little, the literal Wikipedia page for the Flint Dagger is just completely blank other than like the name. Alright, anyway, moving forward, moving forward. Let's get on over to a moon. Oh, whoa, wait, what? Okay, sorry. Uh, we're back into regular clothes. Okay. I wasn't sure if that was gonna be something that we'd have to change in and out of. Or... Yeah, you all know who's boss, except for you. You're about to be bacon, son. Stay calm now. Right, I'm going after the stone. It's the last time he was starting to give us the business. Yeah, I definitely need to learn to block more in this game. Oh, so many of them are so close to getting the next level. Oh yeah, there's a uh, Nino Kuni movie on Netflix, and I watched that. Ah. Honestly, I was a bit disappointed in it. The storytelling wasn't the best. It honestly kind of felt like somebody wrote a video game script. Or like they ripped the cutscenes from a video game almost. For some of them. It just kind of felt a little weird. Although visually it looked amazing. The plot was decent. But then there was like a weird twist kind of thing at the end about one of the main characters and you're just like, where did you pull that from? <laughs> Make no sense. But I thought it was a decent movie. Although unfortunately you didn't really get to see much of the familiars. You saw like a few. I think you saw like one for sure, maybe two different kinds of familiars. But then all the rest of it was just like in the castle or in the city with people. A little disappointing there. But hey, hopefully they make another one. Huh? Guy. Hmm? Yikes. Got the uh shaggy going on. Not a beard, it's like four hairs on your chin. <laughs> Very well defined. We are being followed. Go to the back alley and pull our knives on them. Give them. Prison style. An artista. I I have to draw you. I have a feeling that's co gonna come back around, but honestly, I have no idea how that's going to.
Hello, shopkeep. I'm a great sage of many lands, protector of all. Please buy my bananas. Okay, hold on, let me let me check the map just to be sure. All right, there's no extra quests. Okay, I honestly thought we were never actually going to go into the palace once we left here. God damn it. <laughs> just as I say that. It's very weird that you'd need to see, like, the ruler of a nation just to get a thing to say that you could get on a boat. Even though, like, he's not actually a part of that nation. No, oh, who wants to bet he's missing a part of his heart? I'm starting to see a pattern here. I really wish there was more voice acting in this one. I hope the second one has more. During her sleepy time hours, which is all the time. Kind of in a coma, you see. But she needs bananas, the potassium, to wake her. Weird. This game came out 10 years ago. That's insane. Time flies. I feel so old. Is it milk that's been baking in the hot desert sun? Maybe that's what it is. Honestly, what did that just like over time turn to cheese? I don't know how cheese is made. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah. How do I keep forgetting we keep moving between worlds? I keep forgetting that's a mechanic in this game. Oh yeah, or her soulmate, of course. Oh, I wonder if my whole party's gonna go to the other world. That'd be interesting to see their reaction to my... She's royalty, there's got to be a painting or statue somewhere.
Honestly, I was half expecting the pigeons to fly right through the building. <laughs> Welcome to the Palace of Pampering, the cream of Cat's Cradle establishment. Oh my, I, I must apologize. Oh, oh, please, you must excuse me. Is it finished? Is it, it is really indeed. The painting scarcely oh. dry, but it is completed at last. Oh, I have longed to see it. Now, please, oh. hang it over here. Isn't that the artist who... Yes, it is. I wonder how his picture turned out. At last, the grand unveiling. Oh, my beloved Kaulifa. So the person he thought I looked like was the Kaulifa. That's fancy. It's not every day you get compared to royalty. Now feast your eyes upon the divine beauty oh, of her my. most admired oh, oh, majesty. Oh, oh, huh? <laughs> but that's... I don't know how I feel about the stupid wordplay that they do with this. Part of me loves it and part of me cringes. It's a half and half. By the way, we need to get more coffee. I forgot about that. We need to get more coffee so that we can uh, be more secure in our MP usage. Gate on over. Gateway. I wonder, is Gateway still a computer company? Used to be in the 90s and the aughts, but I have not seen a Gateway computer in 10 years. Oh. Oh, we brought her here. Okay. I wasn't sure if it was just going to be us or what. Honestly, a little disappointed there wasn't a cutscene where she gets transferred here and she's all like, ooh, ah, wonders of the world. Ah, uh, the universe is going to collapse in on itself. Back to the Future 2 rules. Either you're going to pass out, or every atom of everything is going to simultaneously explode upon contact. One of the two. That's interesting, she can't see. Oh, before child labor laws, good times.
It's like, hey, I have a fifth grade education. I can get a job now. <laughs> That jogging wasn't invented until the 70s. cheese that's right dearie and it's not for sale none of it it's all for little old me quick ollie mm. boy she'll scoff the whole lot if you're not careful hurry up and grab some shoppish okay please miss layla could you give me a piece of your cheese uh -huh. you know i'd do anything for you dearie but not please. that just oh, one no, piece no 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 just one no, tiny I said no. He's mine. He with all your might. Have it. I, I'll never Come let you have it. it. It's, it's Come mine. On. Mine, oh. I tell you. All oh. mine. Out of all the things to voice act, they chose that. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Okay, so what emotion is this? Gluttony. Ooh, do I get a magical spell that can give me a power over cheeses and various dairy products? Wow, there's just been a lot of dialogue this play session. Milk and other heavy cream based objects. Yeah, we got nothing on here. I wonder if at some point they're gonna unlock like this part. We're actually gonna be able to push through, go to another part of the map. That'd be cool. Although, we're pretty limited on characters that we know in this world from the other world. I think the only person left 
is our friend that was building the car with us. Or maybe the wife. Of the great sage from the other world, he was all angry mechanic. Oh, like, I don't want my sandwich. I think those are the only two characters left from the other world that we know. Okay, but how do I... Oh, there we go. I must have missed it. It's now a cheese fountain. Or a giant fondue fountain. Hold on, wait. Oh, lantern. What? I've been wondering. We have picked up a few spells we haven't really been able to use. Like broom broom. Like how? Like... Where is it? Hold on, wait, what? Lock, plant, magic lamp? What ingredient? It's gonna be magical cheat. It's the best dairy-related miracle ever. Oh, hello, cake. We're gonna need a cart to wheel that sucker in. Why couldn't you make it round like those small cheeses? secret of loving cheese. In these parts, that's blasphema. Ooh! It's always a treat when it goes animated. Jeepers! That's the Khalifa? She probably ended up this way because of- Shadar, the stinking rotbag! Oh. What is that divine aroma? Abo! Hear your majesty. Bountiful Khalifa, these humble servants come bearing most delicious tribute. Whoa. Careful, 
Heavens, what a dear sweet child. Bring it to us now, there's a good boy. Please. Uh, huh? You want me to take it to her? Quickly now, young man, bring it to us. Hurry! Oh my god. <laughs> He really enjoys that cheese. Oh my god. <laughs> that was creepy. Don't eat the small child. Delicious cheesy wheeze. Do you have more for us? More? Magnanimous Khalifa, if you continue to eat so prodigiously, I fear you may burst. A bull? We are hungry! Your request does not go unheard, Mujesty, but I fear for your bovinity's well-being. That there is one utterly broken heart. What? But... She might not look broken-hearted, but depending on which bit of heart is missing, all manner of weird things can happen. See, what her Mujesty's lacking right now is a drop of restraint. Restraint? That's right. And without it, she can't control the urge to stuff her right royal face. We won't be getting any favors out of her until we've sorted this out. You mark my words. Okay. So we need to find some restraint somewhere, huh? That's quick of you, Ollie boy. You have been paying attention after all. Let's go then, shall we? Please, you must do all you can to help her majesty. Again, you have a sage in the town. You didn't go to him for this? Oh, hey, looks like we got something here. Old lady. Yeah. I forgot it's expensive. Wait, how do I see what the ingredients are to make? Like, I see the symbol. Or, no, 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 it's saying it's an ingredient. Okay, got it, got it. Sorry, I was thinking it was talking about how to make it, but no, it's talking about it's an ingredient for something else. Actually, we're gonna buy two of those. Boom, so we have three. And all we have are the lowest level ones of these, which are actually kind of useless with most of my characters now. A buttload of... Buy some more meats. Got a bunch of milk. And I do want to check the weapon shop to see if we can find that, uh, what was it, flint dagger? 
I believe. Yep, Flint Baker is what I'm looking for. You're all useless. Really? The weapons guy? Alright. Honestly, I didn't get much personality read off of him since, you know, bird. But, uh... Okay. was the flint dagger. I went by that a few times thinking about buying it for some people. I'm buying that. Actually, you know what? I might as well. I have enough money. Leftover weapon. And we're gonna need another one of these because we're gonna be using one for alchemy. Alright, so let's see how this works. Mix one of these. And then it was this for stone. This should give us the result. Oh, oh my god, okay. That is not what I was expecting. <laughs> it's a lot more fire based. I thought it'd just be like a little scissors or something. I do like how this whole city is like paved with this checker pattern. I think that's pretty cool. Because they could have easily just made it like a dirt ground all the way through. Oh, now we could just go in and out whenever we want. Actually, kind of seems like a big enough room to do like a boss fight or something in. Oh, and I just realized the scenery are all these plants. Eh, I'm trying to look up to see if there's like a skylight. That'd be cool. Are you kidding me? Ah, uh, we looked all around town. And it turns out what she needed was right by her side all along. Don't worry, I just need to crack open your heart and take a part of it. 
You'll be fine. I'm 12. I know what I'm doing. Haven't you ever seen Doogie Hauser? It's a lot like that. Great. Very jagged. Oh, we still haven't found out whoever needed that other piece that we picked up a while ago. What was it? Kindness? We picked that up a bit ago. Yeah, I'm wondering if there are going to be, like, people or quests that we can find that aren't really marked, but we just have to talk to them. Like, find... Find a quest on it. Oh, goodness! Does she have a chair of some sort? Whatever can have happened to us? Food coma. These humble servants made your Majesty's ailing heart whole again. I pray that our beloved Khalifa's most generous appetite has now abated. Well, now, we still wish to enjoy the finer things in life, of course. But we have come to feel that a measure of gastronomic restraint may serve to set a good example for our dearest subjects. Your words are music to the ears of your people. Al Mamun can return to its former magnificence. Indeed it can, and we are simply itching to return to our labor. Munificent Khalifa, should these humble servants not be rewarded for their services to Al Mamun? Indeed they should. Boy, is there something you desire? Yes, Your Majesty, if it's not too much trouble. Well, what is it? We'd like to borrow your ship. Ship? Little floaty wooty. Yes, of course. But of course you may borrow it. It is of little use to us. We will write a letter to the captain, ordering him to help you in any way he can. You will? Gee, thank you, Your Majesty. Tidy, the boat is in the bag. But why in the world would a dear little thing like you have need of our floaty wooty? Yeah. Thank you, Your Majesty. Well, we asked you a question, did we not? Well. Go on, man. Okay. We need to find one of the great sages. The great sages? Hmm. Yes, we are aware of them. Abu, we know of them, do we not? Indeed, most learned Khalifa. But little has been heard of such men since the magical arts fell from favor. Why do you seek the great sages, travelers? We need their help. We need their power to defeat Shadar. <gasps> what? Is, is something wrong? <laughs> but we can see that you speak in earth. Very well. We will tell you what we know. You will? I can't wait to hear it. 
There were once four great sages. You know that. I understand that one of them was defeated by Shaddaa. Rome. Oh. But we know of one who did not perish. You do? Well. He lives in the land of Hamlin. A detestable and warlike realm. Uh, but he is a handsome young thing. We even keep a picture of him. Alright, that's a little creepy. A bull! Hacker. Crikey, sounds like she's got a bit of a crush on the poor lad. Oh, he had it on him already. Okay. So this is one of the great sages, huh? That's a clue and a half, that is, Ollie boy. There's <laughs> no. Before you take your leave, we shall teach you some magic to aid you on your journey. Really? You're a wizard too, your majesty. <laughs> well, not a fully-fledged wizard, perhaps, but... Yeah, she did make that end table appear. I thought I wasn't sure if we were going to address that or not. All know a few select spells. King Tom undoubtedly has a trick or two up his own kingly sleeves. He sure does. He taught me some real neat magic. <laughs> How quaint. We hope that you will find our own still neater. Yeah, man. That's a cracker, that is. A real classic, like... It's your lucky day, Oliver. Yeah. May it serve you well. Do be careful out there now, won't you? Yes, your majesty. Yeah, those were two weird spells. We'll see about that. How useful they are. There's someone just short of the door that we should talk to. You there. Oh, him. Yeah. Right. I thought it was the guard for a second. It says we could talk to him again. Okay, well, these ones always fly away. Aha, pigeon.
Oh, um... Room's not it. Spirit meeting. Do a little. Two to go. It's actually a pretty easy one. Unless one of the pigeons is just like off on his own somewhere that we have to actually seriously look for. Just have to find one more. Oh shoot! Yeah, I don't think I've ever noticed this one. Some plant. Solo pigeons somewhere. Find. No clues on them. I'm assuming it's got to be somewhere, maybe in this corridor. I could be wrong. Inside one of the shops. be perched up somewhere? And pigeon. I knew it. 
I, honestly, I find it a little mean putting them inside the shops. It's like, come on, man. All right, let's use this spell. I keep hitting the wrong one. Uh, okay. Yeah, I wonder what happens. Like, we almost have all the prizes. Do we have to collect all of them before the next group shows up? Or... Are we just waiting to get to a certain point in the story to unlock it? We just bought two of those. God damn it. Check our final reward. I can't wait to get the boat. I, I'm i assuming we're going to be controlling the boat? Because of those giant, I don't know, fish monster things that are floating out in the water that we keep seeing. I'm assuming we'll be able to control the boat and we'll probably be able to fight those. Or who knows, maybe that's just like a fishing thing that we'll learn to do later on from, this, from the shore or something. That could also be a possibility. Double check, make sure there's no ends anywhere. Yeah, up very top of there, there's that river into a lake. That's got to be something that we've got to check out with the boat. Yeah, nothing else really looks lit up or anything like that. But yeah, damn, that city over there like blends in so well with those trees. I think I captured almost all of the enemy types in this area that I wanted. I think the only one left is like that green, like, Mega Goblin. Oh yeah, and speaking of, I should probably check. None of- still, none of them have that level up symbol on them. Not understanding how to trigger it. Like, some of these guys, they're going to be going up to their third level, which I get that, but this guy... He's only, like, level two. I'm not understanding that. Maybe that cheaper one. And actually, hold on. Let's swap him out. I was working on this little wall, dude. He's just gonna be basically the person that I'm gonna give all these guys to to help level up. Yeah, and I didn't realize this, but for the growth thing, if you hit the limit, it just goes up. So 
So I hit the level 10 and then it just reset and then had the max level to 20 for this. I didn't realize that's what it was doing. Yeah, I'm not sure how to get it. Do I have to get the familiarity all the way up? As you can see, I like used up all the food stuff. I should probably buy some more of that and try to feed some. Although all I have is the like the lowest level like food stuff, so it takes like twelve for them to go up one point. Now it's actually more than that. Nice. Okay. We're already almost halfway over with that. Leaved an alchemy recipe. Whoa, 40 coins. That might be the most we've gotten from a pot. I believe it's for defense. For flan. Oh, oh, wait, 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 hold on. A quest. Is that what I already had? Can't remember. I think it was kind of nice. It was, haha. That animation looks so weird. It looks like it's at like a different frame rate or something than everything else that's going on. It's so weird looking. Hey, there we go. Another quest complete. Unintentional. Looks like there's one more side quest. Actually, wait, I thought our outfits would change back to those swimsuits. I can't put my finger on it, but there's something about this dude's face that just looks off compared to all the other characters. I think it's maybe just like the weird beard situation that he's got going on. The weird shaggy situation. Shaggy. This guy, he looks like Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. But when it comes to his work, he's all like, wasn't me. T. 
too shaky. Oh shoot, is this going to be a fight? Throw down! his catchphrase so much and he says it so frequently okay honestly i did not foresee a boss fight happening here why do i keep getting blindsided by like boss fights it was the same with the genie oh god is he a dark fairy got the nose for it oh god this actually looks pretty ominous Holy hell. Okay, first of all, our MP is super low. Sandwich! Wait, no. Our MP is low. I literally was just saying that. Bad dream. I don't know if we can actually block this. Oh no. He's gonna die. Come on! Oh my god! How do I wake up? Do I literally have to be hit? Okay, I don't know what spell this is specifically. I don't think it's poison. Blindness. Maybe it's a curse. Ah, oh, fuck. He's, we're gonna fall asleep and he's gonna bitch slap us. Power of Sandwich. Alright, let's... We got extra Phoenix Feathers. Use that one quest. It gets, just gives us so little. Oh my god, he's already down? No, shoot. I was gonna try to block, but... Like, none of his stuff we can really actually block. I wonder if evade, maybe, could work for this? Boom. Actually, we haven't really gotten any nice hits on any of the bosses, actually. I just watched that. We did. Oh. 
Okay, we got a bit lucky there. Everyone got a level. Ooh! Finally! Okay, one of the stones says that the uh, little the life stone, the living stone, says that it's ready to evolve. Like, the captain's right there. He'll probably be like, you know what, it's fine. I'm standing right here for all of this. You clearly have the note. Let's look at that. Um, one of them. Okay, so it's only this stone. Um, let's check out what moves. Sweet. Okay, so we can level him up to the next thing, but we're gonna wait until level 15 so we can get, uh, the, um, drops. Actually, hold on. Let's see. What, what does this do? Okay, so that's basically sleep. I'm pretty sure we already have other characters that have that move, so you know what? We're just gonna level them right now. Alright, what is he? He's... increase your defense even more. <laughs> Magical attack, we'll put that on him. Yeah, throw in all of my magical attack boosts on this boy. And let's see, is this person going to be restraint? Oh, whoa, what? Okay. Oh, we're going to be able to take missions from animals now, too. Because we have, a uh, nature talk. Or tongue, or whatever. Your courage from a crab. I guess I'd say we probably will have to use the boat, but let's just see. Oh, whoa. First person view. Didn't realize I could do this. Alright, looks like no one in this village can help us. Oh, hey, crab. There's another crab right there. Help us in this situation we're in, so... Let's, uh... Pop out super quick just to see if that quest is anywhere nearby that we could actually pick up. Tell me what you got. All 
All right, so that's north. Uh, so I said it was to the east, so maybe over here. It's over on those shores, maybe. All right. But anyway, we're we're right about time, so we're gonna head into the hotel, which seems to be where we have to go for the next story beat. Anyway. Oh, the guy in here has it. Oh, it's the mayor or governor. Sorry. Of course, he restrains himself from wearing a shirt every single day. Actually, talk to her now. And we get being safe. All right, and that is going to be it for today, guys. Tomorrow is normally Genshin Impact, but there's going to be the 2.2 uh, update. And unfortunately, when they do updates, they usually take their servers offline. And it usually happens around the time when I stream. So tomorrow, we're probably going to be playing Genshin Impact. I mean, uh, sorry. I'm going to be trying to play Genshin Impact, but we're probably going to be playing Nino Kuni tomorrow. So the schedule is going to be Nino Kuni tomorrow, Genshin Impact on Wednesday, instead of how it normally is. Uh, if anything changes and we are able to play Genshin Impact tomorrow, I will let you guys know over on Twitter. Uh, the link for that is down below, so please check that out. And if you want to see any of my previous streams of uh, Nino Kuni or many other games I play, like Kingdom Hearts or the Nier series, uh, those are all over on my YouTube channel. Uh, the link for that is also down below. And uh, yeah, that is it for day 405 of streaming in a row. Like I said, tomorrow, normally Genshin Impact, but due to the update, probably won't. We'll be playing um, Nino Kuni. Uh, so that means tomorrow Nino Kuni, and then Wednesday and Thursday will be Genshin Impact back to back. If you can't play it tomorrow. And then on Friday, we're going to be playing some more Nino Kuni. This weekend, we're getting back into the Nirotamata. We're getting into the later half of the second playthrough as uh, 9S. Uh, learn some new stuff about the enemies in this playthrough. And uh, yeah, that is plans for the rest of the week. Like I said, uh, if you follow me over on Twitter, my whole schedule, I'll tweet out every day when I'm online, what I'm playing. So you can stay up to date with that and all my past streams over on my YouTube channel. And yeah, uh, if you haven't already, please consider following. It really helps me out. And that is it for today. So hopefully I will catch you guys tomorrow with whatever we end up playing. Probably Nino Kuni. Based on the uh, track record of Genshin Impact's update schedule. But uh, we will see. And uh, hopefully I'll see you guys then. Bye.